Good afternoon. Tickets, please. Good afternoon. Here they are. Babaiko, sit down nicely, dear. Be careful with that dog, madam. Babaiko, sit down nicely. I said. I nearly lose the train, but I catch it in the end, and I walk into a booth that has only two occupants, a lady and her dog. Good afternoon, madam. Good afternoon, sir. You have a pretty dog, madam, but he is very mean. I'll just move to the other side. Oh, he's not mean. Just wait until he gets used to people. But you don't know how nice and faithful he is, and smart. He's almost like a real person, except he doesn't speak. I see. Where is Babaiko? Where is Babaiko? Do you want some sugar from mommy? Babaiko. Beauty. Madam, for God's sake, keep him away from me. I am a jumpy man, and I don't know what I would do if I were to be very scared. My dear, what is it that you think? We are very well behaved and well raised. We are not rude like Bismarck. Who? Bismarck, who belongs to Officer Papadopolini. Oh well. Who likes sugar? You want some sugar, my little boy? Yes, he wants that. Who likes milk? You want some milk, my little boy? Yes, he wants that also. By the way, madam, you were talking about Bismarck. He belongs to... To Officer Papadopolini. Oh, what is Bismarck? A courtyard hound. He nearly killed the bico. Papadopolina has a female dog, Hyacinth. She's very beautiful. She lives next to me. We're friends in the bico. Oh, he likes her a lot. You Casanova, you. That crazy servant, she is useless. I told her when she took him out that morning. Because he is a very clean dog. I told her, do not let him escape, because he will go back to Papadopolina and Bismarck will destroy him. The officer's hound. The officer is renting a room in her house. I can't remember what I was doing around the house, when I hear barks and cries from the outside. I yell Babaiko. Babaiko. Where is my boy? I run. The crazy servant brings him in her arms. She, along with Papadopolina and the officer barely pulled him out from the hound's mouth. If you would have seen him. Wounded, unconscious and soft, like a rag. I say, my boy is dying. Pour some water on his face, give him some cologne to sniff. The things I went through that day, only I know them. He wallowed for two weeks. I even brought a doctor. But in the end, he pulled through. Will you go back to Hyacinth again? So that Bismarck will eat you? You Casanova, you. Madam, I am very scared. Keep him away from me or else I... No sir. Can't you see that he just wants to be friends? This is just how he is. He can sense the people who like him. Oh, he can just feel the people who like him. He wants to be friends. Bravo! I'll just come closer to him. Here, doggy. Want some candy? Bye-bye. See, you are friends now. Babaiko is the son of Garson and Gigi, who is a sister to Hyacinth, which means that Hyacinth is Babaiko's aunt. Oh. You are such good friends now. What is it, Babaiko? What is it, dear? You are fond of this young gentleman? So you've betrayed mommy then. You Casanova, you. You must be a good person then. My dog doesn't just like anybody. Of course, madam. The dog can sense these things. He has an instinct. The train is stopping. I think Babaiko is getting impatient and wants to see what the fuss is all about. Madam, you shouldn't keep Babaiko so close and covered in this heat. He could get sick. Really? It's too hot in here. I will take him on the corridor where it's chillier. Do not throw him out the window. <laughs> the lady pulls the alarm. Madam, I am so sorry, it was an accident. <laughs> Madam, why did you pull the alarm? My dog fell out the window. Lady, I threw him and I hope you eat his tail. The end. <laughs>